Well, <clears throat> here we go. Jackie's getting the motorhome set up back there. But we're going to head for Bay City, Washington this time. Uh, it'll be near the ocean. We should be able to get on the beach and uh, have a good time. The weather is supposed to be great. We're not going to film on our way down to the uh, coast because we've, we've done that before. We thank everybody who has checked in on our little channel and uh, viewed it and made comments. We're going to kind of review the KOA down there in Bay City and see what it's like and I'll show you around the area and the beach and things like that. So we think we're going to have a good time. There's uh, Jackie over there sitting. There she is. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we hope we have a, a safe, uh, nice trip. It should be a pleasant drive. No rain, just beautiful, the projecting possibility of close to 80 degree weather today. So that's a good sign. Good thing for, to start. So anyhow, thanks again for everybody that's watched our channel and made comments. And anything you would like to have us do down this area, please uh, let us know. Uh, we had planned on having a longer trip this, this uh, coming uh, summer uh, around the country. So that should be interesting. Uh, all the way to Maine and around the around the East Coast and down to the Gulf Coast. So and then ending up in Arizona where our daughter lives. So anyhow, that's our future plans. So keep keep uh, post uh, keep watching our channel. We appreciate you all very much. Thank you very much. This is the Bay Center KOA here in Bay Center, Washington. Take on a little tour. Walk over here to the <coughs> different areas we've got. Now this place will really be busy. This is a, a what is today? Thursday? Wednesday. Wednesday. This is Wednesday. But uh, they're having a special weekend this weekend here. And they've got all kinds of remote car tracker for RC toy, uh, cars, the trucks and things you can race. Kind of unique in all the places we've been. I don't think I've ever seen one of these at all. Basketball court, they're shooting hoops. Again, kind of unique. I don't remember seeing that in other place. And of course, they have a, a playground. They have those at a lot of places we've been to. It's pretty nice. And volleyball court could be used for a lot of different things. General area here. We're just sprinkling the, the grass. Normally, this by the by Friday, this will be absolutely packed. By midweek here, it's pretty good. They're open uh, until November. Then they open again the next year at Easter. <coughs> so that's, uh, that's the season here. Another little play area and different things that you could do. Not a real big place. They don't have an awful lot of sites, but but it's nice here in the trees, next to the ocean. Pretty quiet. Here's the cabins you can get. <coughs> you can rent these. Here's the uh, <coughs> the office. 
don't know that they need to go in there. This is general office, a little store and a little restaurant actually that they have available here. Good morning. Good morning. Different people living here in their motor homes. Here's where they're. Yeah. Here's the uh, recycle area for aluminum. And over here is something you may not see everywhere. Oyster shells. This is real close to a, a major oyster growing area in the state. I'm not particularly crazy about oysters, so therefore I don't uh, <laughs> I don't dig them, I'll get them, well, however you get them. More motor homes <coughs> and more cabins. Pretty nice. And they'll have those other things, what are they called? Yuts or utes? Yurt. Utes? Yurts. Yurts. Anyhow, they have those as well here. We'll probably see some of those on the way back. They have a, uh, a dog run area over here. I won't walk all the way over to it, but it's real nice and big. <coughs> it has a nice double gate on it. You can see it down there. <coughs> they have tent facilities here, as well as other RV places. You see there's a tent area down here. Several people are living in tents here for a while. The larger tents, like this one here is a more substantial tent. They have other ones down here that are part of what some of the people have already left that were in the overnight type tent. Those guys were on bikes were down there. Yeah, they are on bikes. Motorcycles or? No. Oh, bicycles. And bicycles. Oh, standing on bicycles. And here's one other view of the general RV area with the big trees. You see the big old trees there. Then we're going to enter the trail. This is going to lead us to the woods. Not to grandmother's house, but to the beach. Nice walk in the forest. This is a typical forest here in Washington State. I think it's really pretty. Really in with nature. Look at the moss covered trees. Some of these are hardwood trees and some are not. The cedars and all those kind of trees here as well. Oops, here we go. Here we go. We've, we're lucky. We found him today. There's a Sasquatch right here. Right there. Well, maybe it's just a representation of a Sasquatch, but if I saw one that big, I would be running. I would be waiting around. <laughs> this part of the trail has not belonged to the KOA over here, so we can only go to the right part of it, but <coughs> see them? See those trees there? 200 footers or more? Them are big type trees we have here in the Northwest. Not the little things that they call trees in other parts of the country, what we call bushes. <laughs> Here's a sign here. Caution. 
troll crossing. I haven't seen a troll yet, but maybe we will. Again, along the path. Watch out for Sasquatches and trolls here in the forest. I don't think I'd like to walk through here in the night, in the dark. No. Yeah, that'd be kind of scary. You might meet the wolf in Little Red Riding Hood on the way to Grandmother's house or something. But I don't think I'd like to go. I don't know, they, they, they may have a bear here, a wolf, I don't know, maybe not. But you never know. It's, a, it's a wild area. You don't know what you might run into, but it's not normally known to have any wild creatures here. <coughs> this close to the this close to the Pacific Ocean, which we should be at pretty soon. Still a little foggy out there. We have what is called onshore flow here. <coughs> when we've had a real nice day like we did yesterday, it was about 80 degrees. <coughs> uh, the uh, moisture rises off the land and it takes a while for it to dissipate before the sun comes out the next day. So you kind of have a cloud cover a little bit for a while. <coughs> right now it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. And by 12 or so, about an hour from now, it'll be absolutely beautiful, clear. <coughs> Here in, in September. Beautiful weather we've had lately. But they're telling us that our rainy season will hit probably this weekend. And then we won't see too many good, beautiful days, sunny days, for two or three months. But they're going to usually start around February, starts clearing off and, and gets pretty again. Well, we don't have snow, and we don't have freezing cold like the other places do. And we don't have hurricanes, and we don't have tornadoes. We have to put up with a little rain, which is not that bad. Really, not that bad. Some flooding in some areas sometimes. Now we're going to come to the part where we've got to go down the stairs. <laughs> and again, being that I'm almost 75 years old, i got to be real careful going downstairs. So, I will be careful. And you can see, here, you can see the beach. The tide is in. More stairs. Yesterday, we brought our dogs down here. <coughs> and one of our dogs, which is Patch, he's 14, and she's having some hip troubles, and she's blind, and she's deaf, but we love her anyhow, but we had a hard time getting her back up these stairs. I had to grab her and the, and the back legs and Jackie pulled her from the top and <laughs> together we we got her up but it was not easy as she mean it she did her best trying to help us but her back legs don't work for good she doesn't appear to be in pain or anything she can still still run and walk okay but stairs is another problem So here we are, Pacific Ocean. Well, it's actually a bay, so you don't get the real big rolling waves, just uh, minor waves. So, it's called Wallopa Bay.
so this is the Bay City Stairway RV Resort. Just giving you a little tour of the place as we walk back to our our spot. <coughs> motorhomes and RV. I'll oh, show you a yoke. I guess that's what they call those things. The yoke. Yurts. Yurts. I can. I can. I call them little little huts. I don't know what what the official name is, but the, to me this is the huts, and they're very nice inside, really nice. Monk beds and nice hardwood floors, and very nice. I, I'd take the inside of them, but they're all closed, and I don't think to pick up that much of them. And you see here, our campsite with our motorhome. There it is, right there. Here's one of the little huts or whatever they call them, right there. Several of them here. And there's our old Majestic. And the facilities over here on this side. All hooked up. And 